one of the last things that you want to do is put your brake caliper back on. One of the things that you can notice about this is this threaded knob or gnarled knob or gnarly knob. <laughs> one thing you're going to notice is this knob right here on the brake caliper. This allows this brake caliper to move back and forth against the body in case it is binding where your disc is pushing against one side or pushing against the other. This allows you by turning this to move the brake caliper back and forth. So if you notice that your wheel when you spin it if it's binding while you have it up in the air then by adjusting this you can move this back and forth to allow it to ride right in the center of this caliper. So this is a very important adjustment. So to reassemble this we're going to simply put it on the same way we took it off. And basically we just put it back up here and we're going to put the bolts back in in these two holes. Next we're going to put the wire back on. The wire is very simple. We're going to put it back through the hole. If you notice it's got a larger hole on one side, smaller on the other. We're going to put it through the larger hole because that's the stop for the brake cable. And then we're going to go back through the hole on the bottom. And what we want to do is we want to be sure that when we squeeze this that we have enough pressure on the brake that when you pull the lever it'll stop. This is your rough calibration for your brake. So we want to put this up to where you don't want it where it's stopped all the way because you can't turn your tire, but you do want to have it released enough where your tire is going to spin freely. Then we're going to take our wrench and we're going to tighten this up. Again, this is for rough calibration. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the cable up front and we're going to show you the fine adjustments for your brake. Also if you have the little aluminum cap that went on here you can put it back on, otherwise you can put this just out of the way. And you're ready to hit the road, your brakes are back on, you're ready to go. If we look at the brake itself, and we look at the brake lever, we can see that there's an adjustment here. This is a lock nut and this is the adjusting screw. So if you notice when you pull on the brake, it starts pulling down there. So we can adjust this out and put the lock ring back and this adjusts the brake tension. So if you want to fine tune it, this is where you would do it. If you can't get this in range for it to stop, then you have to come back here and tighten this up just a little bit more. You can do that by just squeezing this a little bit, loosening the nut, and then tightening the nut back up.